We all see that this dollar paradigm thrives on spreading debt and death throughout the world and it's coming to a mathematically inevitable end. This is going to be the single largest event in human history with the largest wealth transfer ever. There will not be one single person on earth that their lives are not dramatically affected by this single event. This is going to be a horrible event for most of the people out there. With the loss of entire life savings, the inevitable riots, starvation and wars. I can also tell you that it's not going to be that way for everyone and everywhere. I wrote an article called The Meek Shall Inherit the Earth. Because after doing 80 one-on-one -on -one personal strategy sessions in a week and a half, I saw the awesome quality of the people that we've attracted with our message and that this is something very special we need to do something with. I strongly believe that this group is going to create generational wealth not only in terms of silver but being fully aware and totally free. In order to take this to the next level we have to build a real community and have an exit strategy. In order for us to move forward I cannot keep spending my time trying to wake people up. I need to work with those that are awake and start building something strong strong enough to build a new paradigm off of. The ultimate exit strategy. The idea behind this project is that we can create a new paradigm, one that reflects our highest and best self. I am certain that this is very attainable at a very local level, but I believe that we can reach much further than that if we get enough critical mass. My effort to educate people on silver has never been about dollar profits. I have always been focused on the end of the dollar paradigm and having real tangible wealth to survive and thrive the single largest event in human history. The mathematically inevitable collapse of the dollar. I believe that when this event happens we will see two very different Americas when the dollar collapses. With the collapse of the dollar paradigm we are going to see massive decentralization of power as all power structures crumble to the most local and responsive levels. Urban areas will have unprecedented human suffering as those that are hopelessly dependent upon the debt paradigm will be totally unprepared for its collapse. This will lead to massive violence and the worst in humanity will come out. Think of Hurricane Katrina without the hope of ever getting help. Most of these cities will eventually be brought under some sort of fascist police state as mayors like Mike Bloomberg and Rahm Emanuel will no doubt bring down the heavy collectivist hand to restore order to their little kingdom police checkpoints, the elimination of privacy and property, and some sort of government debt card program or something much worse. The rest of the country is going to be hurt also, but the reaction is going to be much, much different. Think of the Midwest floods and the tornadoes that ravaged the central parts of the country. You do not hear about mass shootings or looting. No, it was always marked by neighbor helping neighbor. There will be parts of this country that will quickly adapt and go to the opposite route of the collectivists in the urban areas. We are already seeing 13 states proposing gold and silver legal tender laws. Colorado, Georgia, Montana, Missouri, Indiana, Iowa, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Utah, Vermont, and Washington. When this collapse happens, one or more of these states are going to embrace their nullification powers to limit federal power and embrace the Constitution and honest money. They are going to attract the best and brightest from all over the country because they will truly value honest people and honest money. It is in one of these states that we can set about creating a world that we can be proud to leave our children. Making the leap from here to there is the tricky part. While so many are focused on when it happens, very few have a plan to do the day after it happens. I thought long and hard about what to do and I came up with the ultimate exit strategy. Inside the Silver Shield report, we're about to get very serious about establishing a bug out community. A small community where we can create a safe place to ride out the anger phase of humanity. We will most likely form partnerships and set about acquiring good land to build a small, sustainable, defensible community, sort of like Galt's Gulch in Atlas Shrugged. This will be modest in scope, and to the outsider it might look like a summer camp, but the real strength and power will be the quality of people resonating with each other and rallied around the simple principle of freedom. There's much more information about this inside the Silver Shield Report. The point is that somewhere will be a great place to go to where there will be tremendous opportunity to build a community or a paradigm that resonates with what we are all about. While most silver experts encourage trading paper silver or mining shares, they strictly focus on the dollar gains of silver and they completely miss the point of tangible wealth. One notable exception is Mike Maloney from GoldSilver.com. 
I differ from Mike dramatically on how to best profit off this coming wealth cycle. Mike believes that silver will get to a point where 500 ounces of silver will be able to buy a typical house. His plan is to sell your silver to the suckers at the top and buy income producing property on the cheap. I feel my exit strategy is superior to Mike simply because I believe that we have a much more realistic version of the next paradigm and my strategy will not only be tax free, it will go one step deeper than anyone has thought of before. Let me just say that I do respect Mike Maloney and all of his hard work in educating society about the merits of silver, and I'm quite sure that neither Mike nor I would be so hard-nosed about our current exit strategy that we would not change if the reality was different for both of us. That being said, I would like to offer a different point of view based off of my incredible amount of research I put into the Sons of Liberty Academy. I first reject the idea that silver is going to bubble top and that you're going to have to sell to the quote-unquote suckers. Even using the term selling to suckers suggests the greater fool theory of investing, and nothing could be further from the truth. Humanity will be forced to see the root cause of this dramatic and global consequences of the largest human event in history with the collapse of the world's economy. This event will scar humanity, and they will not fall for another debt-based Ponzi scheme very easily. Humanity will grasp onto, at some level, the intrinsic value of gold and silver. Maybe not the world over, but certainly in the 13 states that we're already looking towards gold and silver as legal tender. I believe that this will lead not to a bubble top of silver where you have to sell to the top to suckers followed by a massive crash. We will see a new paradigm where things will be measured not in terms of dollars, but in terms of ounces, simply because the dollar will not exist. I do agree that there will be a time, relatively speaking, income producing property will be very cheap compared to silver and I certainly plan on investing in property when the time is right but how to best go about doing it here again I differ from Mike I will never forget that silver is money and ultimately why I'm working if we are gonna have a new paradigm where the rest of the world values silver why would I simply sell my silver to buy income producing assets first of all I am sure that it will be a taxable event to sell the silver this leads to an immediate loss on the investment capital available to deploy. Who knows what kind of windfall profit tax we might also be exposed to, but even in a tax environment that is good, why give up your silver? Before I continue, let me tell you a story about a boy named Conrad. 